Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, we go over the notation editor inside Studio One. In a recent comment on one of my videos, Claudio F. asked how to show the grand staff when we're looking at the notation editor. The notation editor is something new to Studio One version 5, so we're going to dive into the DAW and take a look at it. We'll also go over a couple of the other features that you can do when you're looking at this. So here we are inside this session, and all it is is a very simple piano chord progression. I slapped it together real quick just to kind of show this example. And we're looking at it the way we are always used to looking at it. It's the MIDI window, and we know this. But thanks to Studio One version 5, we now have a basic form of a notation editor. This is really good for our composers out there and our classically trained musicians who might be more used to reading staff music instead of MIDI information. To open up the notation editor with your edit window open, on the top left, you'll see the treble clef. When you click on this, it brings you over to the notation editor. Now, you can see that there's already a lot of tools available. You have a big selection of different musical choices where you could do crescendos and decrescendos, you can tie notes together, you can do trills. Really, there's a lot of tools, and we're not going to get into all of them today. If you want, let me know in the comments, and we can dive deeper into each and every one of these tools. Let's get to Claudio's comment, and he was asking how to change the way the staff looks when we're in this view. Right now, we're looking at single staff, and you can see we have a whole bunch of ledger lines underneath just our main staff here. He was asking, how do we show the F clef as well, or the bass clef? These are the same thing. Now, what I could do, and this is something that we can do within the single staff, is I can single click on the treble clef here, and then I can change this to a number of different choices. If I just want to see the bass clef, I can change it over. Now you can see everything has shifted. So all of the notes that were in the higher register are above the bass clef, and the notes that should be within the bass clef, or slightly under in this case, are where they should be. Also, his comment was, how can we see both at the same time? And really, sometimes it's the simplest things. If you come over here and right click, you can convert this to the grand staff, and this is how pianists are used to seeing the staff music in front of them. So now we have both the treble clef and the bass clef visible on the same screen, and we're not dealing with a whole bunch of ledger lines. So now that we're looking at our piano on the grand staff, let's hit play and see what we have going on. Then we'll have some fun with a couple of the musical symbols over here and change it up a little. So here's its starting point. Also, I have a little bit of room reverb going on after this piano. You may have heard that at the end. So now let's have some fun. Maybe what we're going to do is we'll tie some notes together and we'll change some of the notes to be out of key and really throw things off. Then we'll do it again over here. And you can see I can go into individual notes and adjust what they're playing so that they're somewhat out of key. And when I put this in, I was actually using the piano roll and I applied the scale to everything. So now when I'm back over here in the notation editor, I'm adjusting the notes within the scale and it will play back as such. And let's also do this. For all of my notes, I just want it to get louder as the entire song goes on. So now we've messed up with a bunch of things. Let's see what happens. So we've made a lot of changes. You heard it got progressively louder the entire time, and that's because of our crescendo going the entire length of the chord progression. And we have some slightly off notes in a couple of these chords, but I'm not actually against many of these. Maybe I'll keep it. We'll see. 
For those of you who are looking to get into using the notation editor, there are a lot of very powerful tools that you can use to build your score. Maybe that's something you're working on and you wanna be able to present this to some players. Now, one downside is there's no printable version of the sheet music yet. But if you go to the PreSonus forums, I'm sure if you ask for a feature request, the PreSonus guys will listen and they'll do what they can to implement something in the future to make it a little easier for all of us. That's all for now. If you found anything informative, please like and share the video. For more, visit timflansbaum.com. And if you have a question, just like Claudio did, ask it in the comments and I'll answer it in a future video. Thanks for watching.